Hey, I am Mike the Zorch, and I am starting to feel better. We went to the store recently, and I was able to walk around to the store on us to be able to browse. We weren't in there for, for uh, very long. We were in there for like 30 minutes. But I was able to walk around to the store finally without my back and my legs killing me. I still have to sit sometimes, you know, when I'm working for a long time in the kitchen and stuff because I'm, I'm the cook in the house. I still have to sit and there's a chair in there for me to sit down on. And, um, you know, something when we go to the cashiers at Walmart, when we go shopping, there's a bench that I sit on. But I hadn't, didn't have to sit that long. You know, my back still hurt, but it wasn't like, oh, I gotta sit now, kind of pain. Um, I am definitely losing weight on this diet. And Tigris, Tigris lost a whole lot. It, it's a little bit over time. It's not a, it's a rapid loss, but it's like one or two pounds or so a week. And I'm still over the overload threshold for the scale we have. It's a talking scale because we can't see the display at the bottom because of our vision. So I'm still over the um, limit for the scale, but I'm probably not that far over it. And I've been feeling better. I've been feeling lighter. You know, I still feel a little, little heavy on my legs. But here's the important thing. My knees are not hurting like they used to. You know, I've still got, you know, soreness when I rub my knees. I've still got soreness here, but... I think it's to the point to where I can try doing the bike now. I think that I need to do it. And to recap for anybody who watches this vlog, and this is, I've said I wanted to do at least one a week and I hadn't been doing it. And I need to, I need to do that uh, to keep everybody updated on exactly what I'm doing. We have been on the keto diet ketogenic diet well it's we're not on the keto diet per se it's compatible with what we're doing keto and paleo is compatible with, with what we're doing uh, basically I'm been taking c60 and tiger has been doing the same thing we're looking at um, getting some vitamin supplements and stuff also uh, in our diet, we've gotten rid of wheat and processed sugar. So any sugars we get are natural sugars. And if for like stuff like our coffee and stuff, when we drink coffee, because we haven't got rid of coffee, because we need our coffee, um, we don't do any of the... I, I really miss my... Starbucks. Uh, one of the things that became sort of a tradition for me whenever we went to the stores, I would get me a Starbucks. I would get me the white chocolate mocha Starbucks coffee. It's like, mmm. And it's like, now I can't get it because it's got high fructose corn syrup in it. So that's the other thing we got rid of, is we got rid of grains, anything with the starches Anything with the corn starches and stuff that would turn into um, turn into those sugars. So we don't have anything with that. Anything with gluten. Nothing with wheat because the wheat that's what causes the fat to build up. That's what causes the build. That's what helps to cause the build up in your arteries and stuff. And the sugar is addictive. I mean, um, try getting off of doing drinking sodas and eating sweets for a long time you'll start craving them when i was at the store i was really wanting to get some candy and i said no 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 so we got rid of the processed sugars got rid of the gluten got rid of the wheat and 
means that we're going to have to get creative when it comes to things like bread and stuff. So we've been looking for a way to make bread without wheat. And there are a few ways to do it. I found a recipe on a, a paleo site where we can make uh, bread with zucchini, almond flour, some flax meal, and um, no other iffy ingredients. Just eggs and uh, I think it also called for olive oil. I'd have to look back at the recipe. It wasn't a very big recipe. And you just mix it all up and form it into roughly bread shapes, bake it, and you got yourself bread that's good for sandwiches or good for burger buns because we can still have burgers. And I found a keto paleo friendly recipe for making our own ketchup and i made our own pizza sauce before also i made some bread for a pizza but it's expensive bread because it uses a lot of cheese because the main ingredient is the cheese a lot of cheese so it's like um three cups of grated cheese but we didn't use pre-shredded because it's got corn starch in it to keep it from clumping and that corn starch is something we can't have so we i shredded the cheese myself which i used a vegetable grater for that i've got a cheese grater coming that i ordered from amazon and so I had to shred the cheese for it, which was like, took like half a block of mozzarella to make it. And then the almond, the almond flour, eggs, a little bit of oregano and some other, forget the other two ingredients. And then you mix it all together and then you... Uh, pull it the part into four equal segments. Roll it with a rolling pin between two sheets of parchment paper. And then fry it on a grill. We've got an electric grill. I used a pan with some coconut oil. I've got one of those. We've got one of those blue diamond pans, and they said not to use olive oil on. It. I'm going to do research that because the packaging said not to use olive oil on those. So I used coconut oil. Uh, for that and it smoked up the room because coconut oil is not good over certain temperatures and I think I had it on medium I had it on I had it on medium low and it might have still been high enough to make it smoke not not billows of smoke but it was definitely you know that that cloudy smoky stuff you get in your kitchen whenever you do deep frying that's what we had in our kitchen and so we had to open the windows and doors and let it out before the uh, smoke detector started getting pissed. And you know, I fried it. Up, I fried it up, and then I put on the pizza sauce that I made from the recipe. It was a it's a um, paleo um, sugar free um, gluten free recipe for. Um, spaghetti sauce and it was really good too and then put on cheese mushrooms put on the pepperoni and i made sure that the pepperoni we bought was okay that it didn't have anything weird in it no sugar or anything like that because sometimes they put sometimes they cure sausage with sugar they definitely cure bacon with sugar and we had to go out of our way to find bacon without any kind of sugar or brown sugar we found a brand we have to go to a completely different store in order to get that we have to go to uh, the because of the Walmart a lot of the other grocery stores around here have shut down so there's no more Piggly Wiggly around here around Texarkana so we had to go to Albertsons and Albertsons is they have a great selection of stuff it's just a, Compared to Walmart, they are really expensive. 
like our orange juice mine is six bucks a bottle compared to four actually it's no five five something it's at least a dollar and a half less at walmart so i get one of the big i get one of the big um sim it's simply orange uh, one of the big ones with no pulp has no sugar it's not from concentrate no no additional sugar added it's just not from concentrate no preservatives or anything in it me and tiger both drink that with uh, dinner instead of soda and the rest of the time i'm drinking water which i gotta go get me another bottled water you know and if i want to flavor it i've got me some lemons that i can squeeze i can take cut a wet lemon in half squeeze out the juice flavor up flavor up the water a little bit and it's good for you but um yeah i made the um i made the pizzas and with the pepperoni and you just you put it back on you put it back in the grill you put the lid on you let it sit there for a few minutes you know while the cheese on top of the pizza melts take it off and it was really good pizza it was a small little about personal size pizza for each of us for me tigra and dave and it was really really good but eating this way is also a lot more expensive because tigra spent like 400 and something dollars of money we just barely had to start this whole thing up what we needed was a lot of the um, spices and herbs and stuff. So we bought like almost the entire er, entire spice shelf uh, at Walmart. Not quite everything, but we we bought a lot of it. And we're and and the last trip to the store, we bought a lot of meat and veggies and stuff. So we've been going through a lot of fresh carrots and celery and tomatoes. I made chili today it was the third time i made that the first time i added what the recipe called for for of cayenne pepper and that was too hot for dave and a little bit too hot for tiger not too hot for me i like hot stuff but uh, i tried it we tried it again without cayenne pepper leaving it off and it was pretty bland so three teaspoons equal a tablespoon so i told tiger hey how about i use a third of the cayenne pepper it'll still be a little you know tangy hot but it won't be burning hot and it will put at put flavor back into it so he said yeah and we did that and that was really good it wasn't hot hot it wasn't as hot as i normally like it but but uh, Dave was able to eat it. Uh, he wasn't able to finish the bowl last time when we had it in there. So he was actually able to eat it. And Dave doesn't like spicy food. So that's a, that's a good endorsement for that. Uh, but but the, the bread for the pizza worked out really well. And that's an expensive bread to make because that's a lot of cheese. So finding this zucchini bread that we can make on the cheap, because, you know, zucchinis aren't that expensive at Walmart, buy a couple of zucchinis and, and it doesn't use that much almond flour. And so, you know, it would work out. I would have to make a couple of batches worth, make some, make enough bread for all of us to have uh, sandwiches and stuff. Because... Uh, around round Thanksgiving, we buy a big turkey and we bake it, or I bake it in a bag in a bag with some stuffing, which we're not going to do this year because we don't do stuffing anymore. We don't do bread stuff anymore, As unless there is such a thing as 
almond flour or coconut flour stuffing. Maybe. Coconut flour is hard to work with in trying to make bread because it is uh, it is super absorbent. Um, when I worked with the almond flour first for trying to make bread, it was it was a lot like pancake batter. But when I did but when I did it with coconut flour, it was like uh, it turns turn hard no not hard but it turned it was difficult to whisk because it absorbed so much liquid and I had to add extra liquid to it and also we had trouble trying to make the bread rise because we can't use baking powder because baking powder has cornstarch in it so we had to make our own and we looked at some other recipes and found out Oh, we could do our own thing. We could add baking soda and cream of tartar. And that was our baking soda. And I, I found the recipe for making that out of baking soda and cream of tartar. And I mixed up a batch of my own baking powder with that. Uh, cream of tartar is a, it's a white powder. It's an acidic white powder that is produced as a byproduct of wine making. Yeah, it, it comes from the grapes when they ferment. It's, it is from the impurities that you skim off the top of uh, wine when it's being fermented. So you know, that's where that comes from. And because it's an acid, and that's what the baking soda needs, baking soda needs an acid to react with to produce co2 that's what pluffs puffs up the bread well this other recipe doesn't need any of that this other recipe with the zucchini doesn't need any of that you now so i can um make us bread now i'm gonna we're gonna test that out sometime because you know we can't have wheat anymore but we can still eat the same way we usually do. Uh, we have to stay away from stuff that has like sugar and stuff in it. So that means no processed meats. But we can still have stuff like grilled cheese. That's still on the menu. You know, that, that's still a thing we can do. We can still do burgers. Because I've got the ketchup recipe. I'm going to look up a mustard recipe recipe and how to make our own mustard. Maybe honey mustard. Because we got honey honeys on the menu. Why? Because honey is natural. Honey has natural sugar in it. As long as it's not processed cane sugar. As long as it doesn't have any sugar added to it. Which honey should not have sugar added to it. <sighs> so. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to make this a cooking show but that's what we've been doing and you know it we've been making us feel better and I've been sleeping better because I know I've been developing sleep apnea and I sometimes wake up with headaches in the morning or I sometimes wake up a couple of times during the night Either I have to go to the bath, usually because I have to go to the bathroom, or because I just wake up because I was unable to breathe properly. And that's, that's starting to change. It's definitely made a change on Dave. Dave has got sleep apnea worse than me and Tigra. He, he uses a CPAP machine. We call it his Vader mask. And... He was sleeping in his room earlier, and he did not need it. He was not sawing logs. So, you know, it's working. And I was able to walk through the store without, you know, being in excruciating pain. It was, in fact, would still hurt some, but it wasn't the excruciating pain like before wasn't wasn't killing my back killing my legs 
And there were a couple of times I actually had to ride the whole electric, electric scooter things they have at Walmart because it was just so painful to walk. So around here, sometimes I will, you know, if I'm on my feet for a really long time, or it sometimes happens when I'm carrying, when I've got my arms up and it puts stress on my back, when I'm carrying stuff, it'll sometimes start hurting. But I think uh, I'm at the point where I can start using, you know, the exercise bike that's down here. My knees are not aching as bad as they used to. I was waiting for that to uh, start become a thing, and there's one other thing. I had to buy an A active aid to do this, but it's it involves the bathroom, and I'm not going to go into any further detail. But I'm able to do it without it now. So, you know, it's working. I'm feeling better. And we're eating better. I'm, it's more expensive to eat better. Um, it's also a lot of work to eat better because we're not me. We're not getting anything out of a box. Uh, if we want something, we have. To, I have to make it from scratch. You know, and there's a few things that we make, and we've got to get some more recipes. Uh, for stuff because we've been having the same things over and over again. I mean, there's only so much time, so many times you can have chicken taco, soup, chili, rotisserie chicken, which we do have a thing for making rotisserie chicken, or um, homemade KFC with almond flour and things like that. You know, there's so many times you can you can rotate through the same recipes, which we're we're going to have rotisserie uh chicken tonight. We got one of those rotisserie uh air fryer grills to do that with. We're going to have we're going to have actually one of my mean tonight. It's this morning because our our sleep schedule has been all weird lately. We've been sleeping during the day mostly. But um, we're going to be having that today. And, um, you know, it's working out. It's a high-fat diet. And I know that makes people panic. It's like, oh, my God, they're eating all this fat. Cut out the wheat. Cut out the sugar. Cut out the gluten, the wheat, sugar, the grains. Cut all that out. And you'll actually lose weight with this diet. It's called keto. There's another version of it called paleo. And they're compatible with what me and Tiger are doing. And we sort of dragged Dave along with us. And I'm feeling a lot better. Don't feel like crap. No, and... I think if I start using the machine, start using the bike, I might actually start losing a lot more. I'm going to start off um, not doing a whole lot, maybe just a few minutes, a few minutes every other day. So uh, if our ISP allows it, because our ISP has been really, really fucking up lately. Uh, we are really upset with Cable One. In fact, I see a timeout or I see a timeout or two and spikes on this. Ugh. It, it it ticks us off what it's doing. It was worse yesterday. It was so bad we had to call Cable One about this. Let me put this on the screen so I can show you exactly what the hell is going on. <sighs> oh. That is... 
not the right element I wanted to add. Window capture. Okay. All right. This thing. Let me bring this up. So this is a shell script that I found. And um, it's basically a fancy ping. And so I'm using this to uh, ping our network. And as you can see, there's it'll it shows like um, it shows the ping timings visually. It also shows you when you drop packets when you have a uh, missed ping, and or when you don't have a good connection, like. I don't have any example of that on here right now. There's some spikes here and there. So I'm pinging um I'm pinging the cable1.net there. But uh we're doing that in the monitor things. And it was really awful. I mean, it was it was terrible. Um, because Tiger was trying to play a little bit of Final Fantasy, uh, a fourteen, and he was getting dropped. Dave was trying to play some Final Fantasy fourteen. He was getting dropped from there. Uh, I was watching some. I was watching a YouTube video, and it was fine. Um, if we were streaming or anything we would have been it wouldn't have been able to stream we would have had to have recorded what we were going to do which we need to uh set things up for the Zort central show i would like us to be able to do that um next weekend because we've got uh we have one weekend left in january and i would like us to do that so we need to figure out some technical issues with the server. Um, find out what the what we were doing before with that show to be able to do that show is Tiger would set up the green screen in his room and he doesn't have a lot of room to work with. So we had to set it up in there and set up the lights and set up his camera. And then he would stream his camera output to me over the network. I would pick it up with OBS on Windows on the server, and then we would stream, you know, that with us composited in to the screen. You know, it would be, you know, with my hands showing where we are, we would be composited in because I'm in front of a green screen too. And so we were thinking how to do that so that he doesn't have to be, you know, doesn't have to crunch him squeeze himself into his room with the whole green screen setup because it takes a lot of room to set that up and we haven't um we haven't been able to get the that smaller green screen from Elgato yet we're going to do that because it it it's smaller and out of the way it's a much smaller green screen it's it can be put out of the way easier but we haven't gotten that yet because um, there's some other stuff that we need to do. We need to get a new stove because our stove is a piece of shit. But um, we haven't gotten that yet. So we want to be able to uh, be in the same room together and we've had this echo problem. And I think it's because it's echoing off the wall behind me where the green screen is. We don't have padding behind the green screen. So we're going to have to... Um, He's got a microphone just like this one, which it's it's adequate for what I'm doing in here, and you know it would be perfectly fine for what he's for what we need to do for uh, for the show. So I'd like 
for this weekend for us to be able to get a um, Zort Central show out. And if the ISP is cooperative, we will be streaming it. And uh, Monday, uh, probably not Monday morning, maybe, um, I will, if again, our ISP is cooperative, I will stream an episode of Bike with Mike. And I'll actually do some biking in that episode. So, we'll see how that goes. And, you know, I will pace myself and not push things too far because, you know, I haven't been exercising a lot. Well, if we want to talk about walking around a lot, yeah, walking around through the house and the kitchen and and things I guess you could call that exercise a little bit but um, now I think I've rambled on enough today uh, bottom line is I'm feeling better I have been doing some stuff to get the channel up to speed again I as I said before um, I am doing things a little slowly. I'm not going to speed up into, um, not going to rush production of stuff or speed into it too fast before I burn myself out. But, um, I did release a video for Gamers Bay, uh, just recently. It is the Luna Nights video the Toho Luna Nights video for an old gamer plays next and I just just um a couple hours ago I recorded about an hour and a half worth of video of uh Star Wars Battlefront 2 for a recap episode of Random Thoughts so I'll have that out this week um hopefully this week I'll be editing that on the rig in there the uh the server the big uh the mammoth threadripper machine the overkill machine in there and um we'll be doing the zort central show from in there on that machine and um still debating on whether or not i'll bring back warframe uh it was fun but i haven't been playing it recently I've been getting more into Final Fantasy XIV because of Blue Mage. I've been leveling Blue Mage uh, there and also acquiring a lot of the spells and everything. I've already got one of my uh, jobs to 70, which is my, my main, the Archer. I've been working on leveling my Black Mage to get that up to speed so I can, so I can have either Black Mage or... Um, Black Mage and Bard up to 70 for when the next expansion comes. And then I learned that there's another expansion coming for Elder Scrolls Online. It's like... Uh, but, um... I think I rambled in this episode enough. Bottom line, I'm feeling better. I am getting things done for the channel. I'm not trying to do too many things right now. I'm just taking it slow, getting back into the game. Uh, and we'll have another Chloe and the Professor out um, week after next, before the end of January. Because you know, that, that's an involved thing of writing writing and um, setting all that up and then recording the dialogue for me because I've changed it to where I'm the only one that's the spoken dialogue before I was using a voice changer and it's just not working the way I hoped that it would and I haven't been able to find a better voice changing software um, Screaming Bee's good, but it's not as good as I was hoping it would be. And 
Plotagon has made some improvements to their um, text-to-speech software. So they made some improvements there. So my I rambled on enough. Uh, I have been Mike the Zorch. So look forward to the Zorch Central show late weekend coming up. I uh, expect a, another random thoughts with Battlefront 2. And if I can, might squeeze in on Gamers Bay and old old otaku video for uh, the Atari 2600. I can squeeze that in there. So, uh, until next time, I've been Mike Desorch. I've been trying to get I've been trying to do the outro here for a while here. I tend to ramble. Thanks for watching. Uh, visit us at MeWe.com. Look for the group Gamers Bay. We are there because Google Plus is shutting down. And we have a community. Our community is there. We are in the process of getting um, the, our, all of our communities moved over there from Google Plus because Google Plus is going away. So come visit us there. Uh, there will be a link for the um, community in the description below. And thanks for watching.